up, YouTube? Welcome back to Tactical Advantage. Uh, today we're uh, actually looking at something completely new to me. Uh, just got this in, the Command Arms or CAA Micro Roni for the Glock 17. Uh, this is actually the Micro Roni Stab 17 with the stabilizer, so it's the pistol variant, uh, not the SBR. Uh, they come in black, green, and tan. This is actually black. Uh, so really just got this in. Uh, so this is going to be a first for all of us here. Open this bad boy up and see what we got. So these have been around for a while. They've been at market for about a year. Uh, maybe a little more than that. But uh, interesting little setups here. So basically it just acts like a polymer chassis for uh, you know whatever pistol you're going to put in it. This is again for a Glock 17. Uh, actually these things are cool as hell man. It's actually a little folder so if you actually wanted to actually break it down even more. So we'll get into that a little bit more in a minute. See what else we got in the box. Ah it comes with a nice little keychain. I think I will actually use that. That's pretty cool. And the user manual. So not a whole lot there. But we got what we were looking for. I've actually got another package coming from CAA for the, uh, the thumb rests that go here. Uh, that's probably not going to be here for another week or so. But interesting enough. Really, really cool stuff. I can't wait to play with this thing. Uh, actually, to go along with that, uh, we went ahead and got ourselves a new Glock 17 of the Gen 4 variety. Uh, this is the first Gen 4 I've ever owned. I've got a couple Gen 3s in different variants. Uh, even going back to way, way back in the beginning of the Tactical ADV channel with the race Glock that we built back in, geez, 2008 or something. But... Uh, I figured with this, I wanted to kind of put a non-modified Glock in it just to kind of see how it would run. Uh, so I figured it was a good excuse to go ahead and buy a new 17. Uh, but that gives you kind of an idea how that is going to sit in there. It's actually going to be a little bit more forward like that. But, uh, you know, there's nothing new here. The Gen 5s are already out, so there's really nothing to explain there. I just thought it was kind of cool to show you guys. I don't think I'm going to really do anything to this 17 maybe put a magwell on it and maybe do some stippling uh, i've actually been thinking about sending it out to one of the companies out there that are uh doing like the laser stippling because that stuff is just impressive as heck to me so we might check that out you might guys might get to see something there uh, we'll probably play with this one a little later with the back straps but i don't think there's anything really new to bring to you guys uh, so really, the gist of this video was just to kind of look at the, the Roni itself, uh, get kind of a good view of it. I'll get some close-ups too. And I'll uh, go ahead and get the gun in there. And we'll see how she looks. I almost forgot to mention, uh, we also got us a new little red dot for this, uh, the Spark AR. Uh, you know, I've got a, just a, a bunch of strike fires, and I wanted to get something different, uh, something small. I thought with as, as small as this whole package is, like a, a Burris Fast Fire uh, or a Venom or a Vortex Venom, something like that, probably wouldn't work right. I, I figured the line of sight would be off. So I thought this Spark might be... Uh, might be the right thing have not used one of these before have not this is my first uh, I got it out this morning and played with it a little bit very nice pronounced dot uh, looks like it's rugged comes with a little rubber cap on it too that's kind of nice and a little bit of a riser and a couple different mounts uh, so this should be pretty interesting but thought I'd show you guys so with that said I'm gonna throw this thing together I don't think I'm gonna video that I think there's enough out there and then I'll get you guys some real good close-ups of uh, what this thing looks like with a Glock 17 in it. And uh, we'll call it a day till we can get it to the range. So, thanks for stopping by, guys.